Hello there, and welcome back to Space Lab. This tutorial will guide you through the authorization process for Space Lab. This video is part of a larger ongoing series about Space Lab and 3D audio production, so if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest news, tips, and tricks. If you have a computer with a good internet connection, this should be a simple and straightforward process, which we'll cover first. If your DAW computer isn't connected to the internet or you're having other technical issues, we'll cover things like deactivation and offline authorization later in this video. When you launch Spacelab, the About window will open and show you that you have a trial period of 14 days. To start the trial, just click the Try button and enjoy Spacelab for the next two weeks on us. If you've been using Space Lab for a while, you've gotten excited about all the mixing possibilities and have decided to buy it, great, thank you. You should receive an email with our serial activation code. Just copy and paste that code into the gray field next to the activate button and click activate. If the serial was entered correctly, the about window will close and your Space Lab plugin is now activated and ready to go. Now, most people's experiences should be like the one I just described. And if so, you can close this video and have fun with Space Lab. However, some users might need to deactivate a Space Lab license or authorize the plugin in offline mode. And we're going to cover that next. Each license of Space Lab can be activated on up to two computers. If you have used both of your activations and would like to move Space Lab to a third machine, for example, if you bought a new computer and would like to run Space Lab on that from now on, no problem. You can deactivate any of your activated machines yourself by going to Space Lab's About screen and clicking the Deactivate button. Doing this frees up an activation that you can then use on a new computer. There may be some cases where activation and deactivation don't go as smoothly as I've described earlier in this video. For example, there might be a problem with your computer's hardware or software configuration, or maybe you don't have a working and unblocked internet connection. Let's go through the most common problems and find the solutions. If you can't start your trial for some reason, please contact our customer support and we will be happy to help you out. If you purchased Space Lab, entered your serial number correctly, and the activation was not possible, you will either get an error code or you'll be offered offline activation. If you get an error code, please contact customer support with the code so that we can assist. Offline activation will be available if there are any problems with the internet connection. Once the offline activation dialog is displayed, you'll need to save your computer's unique ID file. This is a file called comp-id.xml by clicking the Save button and then follow the instructions that appear in your browser. Now, if the browser page can't be opened due to an internet connection problem, you'll need to go to the offline activation page at feedler-audio.com using another machine. The link is in the description below. Once you're at our offline activation page, upload your computer's unique ID file to this page and then download the response file back to your computer. Next, load the activation response file that you downloaded into Space Lab by clicking the Unlock button in the second stage of this process. At this point, Space Lab will be activated and you're good to go. If you'd like to deactivate a computer that is not connected to the internet, the process is very similar to the offline activation process that we just went over earlier in this video. Clicking Deactivate will open a window requesting you to save your computer's unique ID file for deactivation. Now at this point, the plugin is deactivated locally. However, you'll still have to take that saved file to the offline activation page at feedler-audio.com to complete the deactivation. Once you have finished the deactivation process on our website, you will free up an activation that you can then use on a different computer if you like. Anyway, that's it for this video. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.